Martinez here again with another episode of Kitchen Chemistry. I'm really excited about what we're doing today uh, because we're going to be extracting some DNA from some strawberries. Um, so what we've been talking about recently is genetics and heredity. So heredity is the passing down of traits from parents to offspring. And offspring is just a fancy word for kids, right? But we can talk about kittens and puppies and human babies and everything. Um, so what we're gonna do today is gonna be really easy, really simple, and it's stuff that you can find very easily at a grocery store or you probably have more than half of this stuff already at your house. Uh, so what you need for today's kitchen chemistry experiment is strawberries. You really only need one strawberry. Um, you need some rubbing alcohol or what's called isopropyl alcohol. This is really easy to find in the pharmacy section of Walmart or HEB. You're going to need some regular salt. You're going to need some dish soap um, and um, water. Okay. Other things that you will need are going to be like um, cups and measuring spoons. I'm going to be giving you all of the measurements uh, using milliliters, but also tablespoons and teaspoons and things like that because I know that you will have that sort of stuff available to you at your house. Uh, so I used a teaspoon today um, to measure out my ingredients and um, a uh, tablespoon, uh, so that's that makes it really, really easy, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and uh, let's extract some DNA from these strawberries. start out with you want to put your alcohol in the refrigerator or the freezer it's gonna work better if it's cold okay next thing is I need water you need six tablespoons of water or 90 milliliters of water I'm going to put in the soap I'm gonna add in the soap I know this says H2O on it it's not really H2O so I'm gonna add two teaspoons of dish soap or 10 milliliters of dish soap. Then I'm gonna take a quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm going to pour that into my soap and water mixture. Then I'm gonna stir. I wanna stir until all the salt has dissolved. I already have my strawberry in a plastic baggie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this mixture into the baggie. You wanna squeeze out as much air as you can from the baggie and then zip it up. Then you're gonna get to mushing. You want to mush the strawberry. Be careful with your baggie because you don't want to rip the baggie. You want to break up your strawberry into as many small pieces as you can. This is gonna help break up and separate out the DNA. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this strainer and I'm gonna place it on top of this cup and I'm gonna pour the mixture into this glass container. I'm gonna take my spoon and I wanna smush through anything else that I can get through, any more liquid. You wanna smush it through your strainer and get it to drip down. You wanna keep doing this until you've basic, you're basically left with a thick paste. 
Then the next thing I want to do is I want to pour this mixture into a smaller container. This is going to make it easier to extract the DNA. So I'm going to just take this one and pour it into this beaker. I'm going to take one teaspoon of the chilled alcohol and add it to the mixture. Next, what you want to do is you want to hold the mixture at eye level and look for a white layer on top of the solution. I'm going to remove the layer of DNA from the top of the solution and put it into this test tube. So you are probably wondering, why did that happen? Is that something that can be done with multiple different types of fruits and vegetables? Well, yes. So you can actually do this experiment with bananas and other fruits and things like that, but strawberries are the best. Um, and the reason that strawberries are the best is because they have a lot more DNA than even we do. We have two copies of all of our chromosomes because we get one copy from our mom and one copy from our dad. Strawberries, they're octoploid. So that means they have eight copies of all of their chromosomes. So they have a lot of DNA. And so it's really easy to separate it out. And that's basically what this mixture of salt, soap, and water is doing. It's separating out all of the DNA. And then when we pour the alcohol in at the very end, because of density, it's gonna cause a separation in the mixture. And DNA cannot dissolve in alcohol, so it's really easy for us to scoop out the DNA uh, once we do that, once it's separated out for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me extract DNA, and I hope that you are able to do this at home. Please send me a picture if you do, okay? Bye. Hi guys, it's me, Mar Miss. <laughs> Strawberries are octoploid. <laughs> octoploid. Strawberries are octoploid. <laughs> Strawberries are octoploid. 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 Octoploid.